you're still running OpenSUSE Leap 15.4, then you should know that every Leap Miner version gets about 12 months of support. As things stand, Leap 15.4 support ends at the end of the year. I know it's still some time away, but some of us only get the idea on the 23rd of December that the next day is Christmas and presents still have to be bought. For this reason, I will demonstrate in this video how to upgrade online from Leap 15.4 to Leap 15.5. My name is Michael and I started with SUSE Linux 8.1 in 2003. I had been using SUSE for a very long time. But now, let's get it started. Generally, the current situation is like this. About every 12 months, a minor release is expected to match the SUSE Linux Enterprise Service Packs. After about 36 till 48 months, a major release aligned with the SUSE Linux Enterprise release is expected. And last but not least, OpenSUSE Leap 15.6 is confirmed. With OpenSUSE Leap, you run the stable LTS branch, which is binary compatible with the business solution SUSE Linux Enterprise, for short SLE and thus get security updates directly from the SLE sources. The regular successor to OpenSUSE Leap 15.4 is OpenSUSE Leap 15.5. As mentioned, an important pillar is SLE. SUSE Linux Enterprise is being replaced at SUSE by ALP, which stands for Adaptable Linux Platform. ALP is not a successor to SLE, but a completely new approach. Therefore, the change from SLE to ALP will also mean the end of the current leap. But before that happens, OpenSUSE Leap 15.6 is scheduled for release in June 2024. Support is to be guaranteed until at least the end of 2025. This is a clear signal to users that they will not be left out in the cold and that leap will continue on its path. SLE has also confirmed a 7th service pack. According to this, Leap 15.7 could also be appear in the future, but it's currently not confirmed. There are two ways to upgrade. There is an offline upgrade and an online upgrade. In this video, I will discuss the online upgrade in more detail. But first, let's take a brief look at the offline upgrade. For the offline upgrade, the respective ISO image must be downloaded. So download Leap 15.5 ISO in the first step. Then use a tool like Etcher to flash the ISO on a USB stick or for example, alternatively for the older generations, you could also burn it onto a DVD. Then shut down the computer and boot from USB or DVD and then select offline upgrade in the boot menu and follow the subsequent steps. For the online upgrade, we have to adapt the sources from 15.4 to 15.5 and then run a distribution upgrade. What sounds so casual can also be done in a few steps. We will now take a detailed look at this. But now let's check the current situation. We are running OpenSUSE Leap 15.4 on the system. I have already performed the upgrade. I cloned the system. So, I will now switch from this system to my clone system. A few small notes beforehand. I recommend switching off all power saving options in the settings in the energy settings and switching off the automatic locking of the screen after a certain time in the privacy settings. All commands that follow are documented in the description of the video below. I recommend opening a terminal window on the left and a text file with the commands on the right. Just copy paste and do not type manually because this reduces the error rate significantly. The first step is to update the old system. We can do this in the terminal with sudo zipper refresh ampersand ampersand sudo zipper up minus y. This will refresh the package sources and then update all packages if updates are available. We now change to the root user with sudo i. The second step is to update the package sources. We replace the previous version with the new one. I recommend you to use the statement in the description below. It's better than typing it because typo errors are possible. 
I would not recommend to risk this. So go down and pick the second statement, copy it and paste it in the terminal. The third step is refreshing the new package sources. We will do in the terminal zipper minus minus release server 15.5 refresh. I also recommend to take the statement from the description below. The fourth step is to perform the upgrade. In this case, zipper minus minus release server 15.5 distribution upgrade minus minus download in heaps. The same recommendation, pick the statement from the description, paste it in your system and hit enter. This may take some while, it depends on your internet connection and also how many packages you have installed on your system. I would say around about 20 till 40 minutes should be expected for this upgrade process. You have now a short break and will come back after the system is upgraded. In my case, I had to solve some dependencies. In general, I would recommend to pick up the new packages and delete the old one. But this cannot be a solution for all cases. You have to check all cases and maybe in some cases you have to consult a forum for OpenSUSE and ask experts to consult you. I cannot give a solution for all cases. I'm sorry. For my case, it was suitable and my system came up afterwards very well. The fifth step is to reboot your system. This can be done in the terminal via sudo reboot. Hit enter. And normally, the new system on base of leap 15.5 will boot. I will now switch back to my 15.5 system. So, ahoy, this is OpenSUSE. We're back. Let's check our target. We are now on OpenSUSE Leap 15.5. I like the possibility to decide whether you want to upgrade offline or online. A guided assistance for the online upgrade seems to remain wishful thinking. Since the future of Leap in its current version is more or less foreseeable, we should not expect any more innovations regarding an upgrade assistant. This is both pity and understandable. There are big changes coming and the resources of OpenSUSE are limited, so they have to be used purposefully for the coming tasks. This also makes sense. Should the future of the SUSE-based distros fall to unchangeable distros, upgrades will become obsolete anyway. If you don't know exactly what this means by this, then I recommend my video to OpenSUSE MicroOS. Because this could become the future. The system or root partition is mounted in read-only. All upgrades to the system itself are realized in the form of a snapshot which is then started at the next reboot. Apps or workloads are realized as flatpak containers and can thus be refreshed at user level via App Store or Terminal. As you can see, there are far-reaching changes coming. The video gives you a foretaste. And it also becomes clear why the developer resources are better invested there and more promising for the future. Now let's come to the conclusion and closing notes. Not much has changed in the upgrade mechanism. It works. In my opinion, others do it better. I'm thinking of Ubuntu, Linux Mint and also Sorin OS because they offer very comfortable update assistance that also help users with less in-depth knowledge and enable a successful upgrade. In my opinion, a well-maintained distro should nowadays offer an easy-to-use assistant. Those who prefer to do it via terminal are free to do it so. Those who currently use OpenSUSE Leap and are loyal to Leap should now slowly switch to Leap 15.5. But of course, you can also sit it out until just before Christmas and do it during your Christmas holidays. I have shown you how to do it. When you do it is up to you. As we have seen, the future of Leap is not quite clear yet. But at least we know that it's secure until the end of 2025. 
that's still a good two years away and therefore plenty of time. So you can relax and watch the development and then make a smart decision for you at a later date. My wish to OpenSUSE is to communicate clearly how it will continue and to offer an upgrade assistant for existing Leap users as best as possible so they can then switch to the ALP-based successor easily and comfortable. If OpenSUSE wants to be a user-friendly distro, this should be possible. If need be, SUSE should also spend a few thousands of the million spent on a RHEL clone so that developer errors and resources can be horrored here. That should be the ambition. I could well imagine switching to the Leap successor. I guess the Linux system then will be split up again. What is LTS and rolling today will then become something like traditional and unchangeable. So distros like Debian and Arch for traditional with writable root partition and native package. And then on the other side, immutable distros like OpenSUSE Micro OS, Leap Micro or at least Fedora Silverblue, which lock the root system and container solutions for workloads or app as they say today. How do you actually see this? Feel free to post your opinion in the comments. If you liked the video, I'll happy for a free channel subscription. Just give a thumbs up and activate the bell. It's good for both of us. It remains to me to thank you for the kind attention. See you soon, ladies and gentlemen. Peace.